Dear Ali, since I've been away, it's given me time to think. I know you said I wasn't right for the Athena, but I want to show you that I am. Please find inside the first item for your reconsideration. This is the dress I should have made for Lee in week one. I look forward to your response, Nyla. I miss you. To so call me back. I don't even know where to begin. So much has changed. Do you still like plaid shirts and kittens? <laughs> Obviously. Then some things are the same. <laughs> but what if you don't want to talk to me? The attempts I've made to say different. Right. But if you really wanted to talk to me properly, you would have told me about Satori. Kind of hurt that you didn't. Slightly I didn't, because turns out you're not Great in the secrets. I am normally. Uh, th that night was an accident. Oh, shut up. Hey, don't tell me to shut up. I thought you missed me. I do. I miss your bluntness and your face and your awkward kindness and your brain. You miss everything about the Athena, too. That's why it's good. I've got a plan. It's from Ali. Nice dress, Nyla, but my decision is final. She doesn't know what's coming. Exactly. It doesn't matter. Right. Because I'm just getting started. We're electrically connected. We're lighting our own way. We got this all together. No matter what they say. We'll weather any storm and we'll ride it to the end. Just stay connected. about your emotions, how you communicate them through your work. Now, this is a fine art assignment. You should be creating works that are an expression of you. But above all, I want to see progression. Lenny, you're an example of someone who needs to be improving now. Hey, I leveled up on Call of Duty last night. <laughs> what more do you want from me? A serious attitude. Life's not one long cartoon, Lenny. And this term really separates the talent from the triers. That that's what Nyla is, a trier. Probably why she is vanished off the face of the earth. Nisha, the only thing you should be thinking about is your own work. So get to it, all of you. What's she done this time? What well, but I dropped her off this morning. Yes, I'm aware she's truanted before. I'm not an idiot. Oh, sorry. No, yes. I understand it's a very serious matter. I will speak to her tonight. Oh, uh, right. Of course, yep. I'll be right there. I'm very bored. Are you very bored? Uh, no, I'm good. Well, you should be bored. All you ever do is work. That's not true. There's the band. There was the band, and there's... Well, yeah, you're right. All I ever do is work. That's why you need a me in your life. Well, to be fair, you are distracting me. It's not enough. You still have a pencil in your hand and, and a serious look on your face. Well, yeah, this term separates the talent from the tries. He's not even here. She just ran off. We should do the same. It seems a bit immature. Sam, I don't know if you realise, but you're not a grown-up. You don't need to be mature all the time. OK. What do you suggest? Feeding the ducks really counts as immature. Of course it does. Children feed ducks. It's basically all they do. <laughs> Fair point. Besides, I love ducks. They don't bother flying unless they absolutely have to. They're amazing. <laughs> that one is pretty cute. That one's Jacob, and that one's Edward. And over there, acting like a princess, that's Bella. She's always like that. 
Nish, how often do you come here? Three, four times a week. Oh, and I thought you spent all your free time plucking your eyebrows. Don't be ridiculous. My eyebrows are naturally perfect. And there's a lot you don't know about me. I like it when we work together, when it's just us. <laughs> what do you mean, it's always just us? No, for a while you ditched me. Yeah, and I came crawling back like an idiot. What is with you today? I'm bored. With me? 10 out of 10 for observation. So am I just meant to sit here, be bored and be silent whilst you do whatever it is you do for the rest of today? Unless you want to tell me why you've been skipping school. Not really, no. You realise they're considering turning the suspension into an expulsion? Yeah, I realise, but I still don't feel like talking about it. Then I may as well work. Also, I'm not apologising. I mean, I would, but I don't feel sorry. And you always taught me not to lie. Oh, of course. My words are like pick a mix. You just choose the ones that fit at any given time. I wasn't crying. It's cool if you were. It's been a weird time around here. Yeah, and um, I was just starting to think no, actually, it doesn't matter. Yeah, it does. Come on, spill. Jamie's had a thing for Nyla since day one. Nyla again. What's with people? She's not that special. Right? I thought it had finally happened. We got together and she disappeared. But he still acts like I'm nothing. Wow. I thought you were kind of badass, but that was just pathetic. I mean, obsessing over some guy. Letting it define you, and he's just some guy. <laughs> Item number two for your reconsideration. This is the photograph of Jamie that I should have shown. That's a nightjar. They've got pointed wings and they're similar in shape to a cuckoo or a kestrel. Wow, you really are a grown-up. Grown-ups always know about different types of birds. <laughs> I learned it with my sister. We used to spend hours doing this. But we should make a move. <gasps> we can't leave yet. We haven't eaten our picnic. <sighs> we haven't got a picnic. Yes, we do. That's another thing you don't know about me, Sam Warner. I never go anywhere without a picnic. Why? in case we get lost and can't find our way home? That's actually pretty responsible, sort of. I mean, it's not going to help you find your way home. Yes, it would. I think better when I'm not hungry. I've got PB&J for me and ham for you. Sweet. Ham's my favourite. I know. Besides tin soup, it's all you ever eat. That's why I made it. <laughs> Good to see you putting in the extra hours. It's just an idea. What's going through your mind? Um, well, the figure is my dad, and he's really cool. He's a games designer. But then I figured that that's too happy and not showing enough depth. 
Then I've added the big rain cloud to represent the depth of rain, because rain is deep and rainy. Deep and rainy. Don't play games with me, Lenny. And don't play them with yourself. You know, it's all very well doing technically brilliant paintings, but what's the point if they don't mean anything? What are those? What do they look like? It looks like you expect me to work in my special, not workplace, which is really unfair of you. Nisha, I learned a lot yesterday. I learned that you like ducks and picnics and that you pay more attention to my eating habits than I do. And I learned that you're a pretty great friend. Only when I want to be. <laughs> Noted. But after everything that's happened, I needed yesterday. Like you really need today. Why? You heard what Ali said. Things are about to get a lot tougher. And if you want to keep your place, you're going to have to work. And I don't want you going anywhere. What paints did you bring? Acrylics or watercolors? Acrylics, please. I'm not hiding. I just don't want to be seen by anyone. So, yeah, I guess I'm hiding. Nyla? Lenny! OK, two <laughs> things. What are you doing here? And why are you hiding? And you look amazing. <laughs> that was three things. <laughs> yeah, I've never been great at counting. Ali's agreed to see me. Wow, OK, we definitely have to fist bump to this moment. Uh, but, uh, I appear to be too scared to go inside. Do you want a chaperone? Sounds old-fashioned, but, yeah, I do. <laughs> hey, Nyla! And Lenny. Another package. My jeans, for your reconsideration. But I'm hoping I won't need it now. Nyla, I didn't call you here to say I've changed my mind. It's to ask you to stop sending these packages. It's good work, but it doesn't change anything. Why? Because the Athena isn't right for me. Basically, yes. But how do you even know that? It's my job to know that. Right, but... But who I am is is, is constantly changing. I, all the time, I'm, I'm, I'm like Play-Doh. What? You know when you were a kid and you'd make something out of Play-Doh and you'd, you'd put it in the oven to set? Yes. Well, I'm still in the oven. I'm not set yet. I'm brave one minute and then, and then I'm terrified the next. I'm trustworthy before I find words falling out of my mouth. I'm, I'm optimistic in the morning before I'm running home to my mum and dad in the evening. And if I don't know who I am, how do you? I suppose I don't entirely. And if you don't know who I am, how do you know where I belong? You have a point. But I have to make decisions based on what's in front of me at the time, and I did that. So we're done here. But... I have to get this.
Now what? You just glared at a chip. Do you have to watch me eat? No, but I mean, you really glared at it like, like you were judging it and looking down on it and it's a chip. What's your point? You're just not that great. I think you'll find I'm talented, handsome and unique. You're just some guy. That you've literally been obsessed with since day one? Yeah, I know. It's like I've been looking at you through a filter and now without it, you're just some guy. Some arrogant guy who thinks he's better than everyone. Even a chip. You were right yesterday. I have no idea who I am without Jamie, but I plan on finding out. Cool. But just a heads up, you might want to find yourself a new playmate. Being alone is dull. I should know. So we should hang out. Because you like me or because you like other options? The second one. Oh, badass Naomi makes a comeback. That was nothing. I can be far more vicious. <sighs> vicious is at least interesting. So, yeah, you're on. Just sit. Don't even know where to begin. I need to find you another school in our catchment area. But getting you into that school wasn't easy. You could just homeschool me. Oh, yeah, right, because I've got so much free time. Yeah, well, you used to. Before you got this job, before Dad left. Oh. Well, is that what this is about? Maybe. I don't miss him. He's never around anyway. I miss you. <sighs> Wait, did you just...? I can say nice things. It happens. I mean, at Christmas, maybe. I miss you too. Maybe I could just be a student here. That way you get to work and we get to spend time together. That would be a perfect solution if you were five years older. There is Woodhouse. It's just around the corner and you could come here after school instead of going home on your own. That would be really cool, except Woodhouse is for smart kids. I'm not that academic. I just don't think it's right for me. But how do you know yet? You're not fully formed. You're like Play-Doh. <laughs> Mum, what are you talking about? <laughs> Doesn't matter. I need to make some phone calls. Okay. Oh, uh, Lee, you'll do. I need someone to look after my daughter. But I... Just for half an hour or so. I have no idea what to do with small people. Thank you. I'm not that small. Right. Yep. Good point. And I'm already messing this up. Maybe this will be the best. Oh! <laughs> Okay, I'm no detective, but if I were to make a judgment based on your expression right now, I'd say Ali's officially lost the plot. Yeah. Something like that. Do you like it here? Mostly? You don't talk much, do you? I, um... No. Yeah, Nyla would be much better at this. Who's Nyla? Is she a student here? I don't know. Well, is she your friend, then? I don't know that either. Why not? That seems like something you should know. Agreed. So who do you hang out with, then? I, am um, like my own company. I mean, I got that. But at least try and talk to me. I'm 13, not an alien. Yeah. yeah. Uh, OK, fair. What's your favourite colour? That would be great. We'll see you then. Yes, I know, I know it's just a meeting and there are no guarantees. Aha. Uh -huh. Thank you. I'll see you then.
Hello? Better get your check paid quickly, because you're coming back to the Athena. Really? Are you sure? Your genes are far from ordinary. <laughs> Let's see if we can get that Play-Doh to set into something good. <gasps> Thanks. So, going back to the Athena, no big deal. <gasps> Whoa, nice jeans. Thank you. No, seriously, <laughs> Mum, what took you so long? Yeah, there was a whole ten minutes where all I had to offer were monosyllabic grunts. So, um, yeah. Thank you. Is she always on her own? No. Good, because that would suck. Well, you might have to dial back the socialising for the next couple of weeks, because I'll be helping you revise for the entrance exam to Woodhouse. Oh! <laughs> I didn't just scream. Of course not. I didn't hear a thing. To be honest, I struggle a little bit with this assignment. But I, I, I saw something. Someone. It's clear something significant has happened to you recently. It's right here. It's got depth, sure, but there's a helplessness. Longing. It's about how other people feel and how that can affect you. It's remarkable, Lenny. Thank you. OK. Lee, can you come up to the front now, please? It, uh, it's, um... It's about friendship. And, um, how fragile that is. Very good, Lee. Okay, before we move on, I have an announcement to make. Nyla's back. Sit down, Nyla. You've a lot to catch up on. Hi, guys. Hey, I'm sorry I didn't... It doesn't matter. No apology needed. Ali, can we get on with our serious work now, please? Sometimes it just needs a friend. 